Okay, now that we've learned G and F, we're going to learn one more new note for now. And we're going to learn E. So if you have your book, if you're looking in your book, you notice that the first two circles in your book are colored in. So that means we're going to use our first valve and then our second valve when we play E. Uh, e is just one step down from F. So again, it's going to feel pretty much the same uh, in your embouchure as when you play G and F. All we do is just add a valve and you should be able to get a really nice G out. So let's go ahead. I'm going to play E for you. It sounds like this. All right. Um, I'm gonna play it again. I hope you're humming along to that one. Let's uh, play it with me. Um, I'm gonna hold it for four counts. Just play along. One, two, ready. <laughs> Um, we'll play it one more time. If you found that your pitch is below mine, remember we're going to firm this up. We're going to go faster air so that we get up to the pitch. If you're higher than me, you're going to relax just a little bit, slow down your air so that we can get down to the E. Okay? So let's play E one more time. All right, now that we've learned E, we're ready to look at the fifth line in our book, heading down. Okay? So this one's pretty simple. We're just holding E, two, three, four, press, two, three, four. E, two, three, four, press, two, three, four. And then we're done. So let's go ahead and play this. Number five. Press, two, three, four. Three, four. Great. Now we're ready for line six. 